It's morning already. Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there to see what time it is. It's probably like 3 a.m. Hey, look, she drew little nameplates. Oh my god, Sonya, you're the fucking best. Which one? It was Sonya's room. Fuck, damn it. I hope that it says 3 a.m. Let's see, the time is... 9 a.m. Oh. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? This kind of situation, Penning will accomplish nothing. Might be better if I spend time like I normally do, as long as I can. Should find someone to talk to, or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I need to save, though. Fuck. If I ever fucking remember what the button is. Oh, yes. Perfect. Absolutely fucking perfect. Now let's fucking clean that. Oof. Let's do it real quick. Let's get some free time. Uh, let's see where everyone is. Uh, she's in her room. She is in her room. Come on over here. So it is still <laughs> You would be. Sonia is down there. Let's go hang out with her. Because I am fucking close to maxing her out after all. Well, closer to maxing her out than anyone else. Well, besides Soda. Fuck Soda. He's a piece of shit. So I think I will focus on her at least a couple times. Nope, fuck. <laughs> I'm still not used to Nakamura's new appearance. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What should I do? Yes, I should invite her. Hi. Don't fuck this up this time. Please. I still feel like talking to someone. Let's spend time today discussing various things with Sonya. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. What should I get? Should I give her something? Last time I gave her something, it really fucked up. Um, and I don't know if I actually have anything good to give her, now that I think about it. I mean, I might. Probably look at it. What would I give her? Is there anything... I don't know if she'd like a coconut. I doubt it. That would be... No. I want this gold. If I don't find anything else, maybe. But I doubt it. Maybe Frey jean pants of a decorative worn at the sun and the Oh uh, yeah, justice though. That's a good one. Could this possibly be fear in the legend that has been passed down generation after generation? I know this me. Surprising. <laughs> Hajime, as I thought, you must be the person that I have been anticipating. Hello? <laughs> I shall quickly take important care of this. By the way, you're really good with words. Yeah, fuck off. Already fucked up a gift. Don't pull that shit. What's it on this? Of course I have mu done much studying after all. You speak really fluently. Hi. Yes, I do not know how many times I've seen I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the Spain... Spain Zaka Saga. Ah, oh, I see. I don't really understand, though. Uh, oh. Um, in my opinion, I believe the best Japanese dramas were... I know this, ne? The ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 to 34, just before Japan's economic bubble burst. The trendiness, energy, and quality entertainment was truly at its zenith, zenith during this period. Zenith? I see. 
It's no use, I can't keep up with what she's saying at all. And what the heck does she imply by bubble? This one. Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily reference their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used, and so there are some things foreigners might, may not understand. Um, Watch me, if you're willing, would you train me? Sure. Train? Of course, I can teach you some things I understand, but... <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm pretty so, for example. When lovers go on a street ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? Yeah. In that situation, what do you call the rival where, ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? Fucking. Well, that's not really a ritual. It's, uh, I'll try to put it. It's more like a cliche. That's a dude wanting to get in her pants. Watakushiwa. Oh, is that so? I certainly thought it was something that's known in my country as Maka Makongo. Makongo? Ano. Is a tradition in my country. According to the tradition, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the Makongos they have grown. Is too embarrassing, so please do not make me say it. Embarrassing? What is a Makongo anyway? <laughs> I cannot say. You will get a nosebleed. Is it really that embarrassing? It seems Novo Selic Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. Update. Update. Thank you. I'll take it. After an awkward conversation with Sony, I return to my room. Oh, hey, Jockey. If I hadn't maxed you out, I'd legitimately just hang out with you right there. But... I'm on a fucking maxing grind right now. I'm going back. Actually, I need to look if there's any Monokuma stuffed animals over here. Let's go into the archive real quick. Just to see. So this is Monokuma archive that Nagata was talking to me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for us. In the future, it may be necessary to know about the enemy. Oh god. It's actually like a lot. Oh, it's like a bunch of different stuff. There's a monocomer behind him. Awesome. I totally wasn't trying to look at that calendar. Totally wasn't my intention. Bye. Anyway, Zonia, how are you doing? We must find a way to escape this place. What should I do? Let's invite her. Hachime, let's search for clues once again. Spend time searching for clues with Sonia. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like we glue her a little closer. Sure. What should I give her? Uh, Another hope. Uh, I doubt she'd like this. It seems like she doesn't want anything like too extravagant. Because, I mean, she does have a lot of money after all, so. Gold sheath, no, sad face. Small rose, stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In, in the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. No balls, right? Hey, I really have this. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're truly kind. Oh, right. Fuck it. Hajime, there's something I would like uh, to ask you today. Sure, what? Shush, lower your voice. We do not know who might be listening in. Now then, come closer. No need to worry. I'm all ears. As soon as Sonia said that, she walked up to me one step at a time. Uh, huh? Oh, she smells nice. God damn it, Hajime, keep it together. Hajime, do you know. Do you happen to know what ha. a lot about the occult? Yes. Huh? Uh, no, not really. And what about cults? Uh, no, not at all. Phew, I see. You certainly are deceptive. I am finished talking to you. Let us disperse for now. Fuck. Damn it, Hajime. Hold on a sec. When the world were you talking about? You're hopeless. Since I have already sailed this far, I shall sink you into the ocean. That's not how you say that. 
Though I understand it is a forbidden interest for a princess, I'm quite interested in Freemasonry. I'm sorry. Of course, my interest is purely academic. I have no intention of conspiring to overthrow the government. You are the government. You can't overthrow yourself. Well, fuck, that would be... That's talking Blair Steep right there. You're not going to overthrow yourself, though. But when I think about Freemasonry, my chest begins to hurt. Sounds like she's in love. However, it seems not many people understand this feeling of mine. What do you happen to know? I am part of the Freemason Society. God damn it. I am the ultimate Freemason. Oh, God. If he pulled that, I would laugh my ass off. And because of that, I feel quite lonely. Sometimes I feel like I could just cry. Aww. Tony's hobbies are pretty intense. However, expanding my knowledge like this is the duty of every member of my royal family. That is why I'm interested in the occult, cults, and popular dramas. Where is she... When she puts it like that, it sort of makes it sense, but... Hajime, please think about it. Do you not agree that dismissing a different set of values due to ignorance is foolish? Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. It's always good to get different values in there. How many foolish wars have been fought on the basis of that ignorance? My current country is certainly no exception. We still have many unique traditions that other cultures would not truly understand. Like what? Unique traditions, huh? That reminds me. I think she mentioned one of them before. Emma Congo. Since I literally just did that, thank god. You mean Makanga, right? This one. Yes, but that is not the only one. Our country has another tradition in which you are not acknowledged as an adult until you consume a skong. Skong? What? A skong? However, I think my generation should be objecting to these traditions. Although it is nice to retain pure blood Makangos and skongs as a symbol of high status. What the? What the literal fuck are you talking about, girl? Auctioning them to the highest bidder goes against the spirit of animal conservation. Oh, they're animals. Wait, they're animals? But we do not need to completely end this tradition. I simply... I shall simply find new uses of, for Makangos and Skongs. What the fuck, girl? You're crazy as shit. They crow when they're scared and shrink when they... when angered. I plan to harness the energy they release in this state. Using the knowledge of the past, we shall develop a new energy source from our old traditions. Hold on, do strange animals like that really exist in your country? I understand that may be a difficult task. However, I shall accomplish it by any means. I will help you in that goal. Guiding my people along the right path is the duty of a ruler. Her people must believe she's a wonderful princess if she actually thinks of them like that. I believe that's true too, but... In my eyes, Sonia and the Novacella kingdoms are just full of mysteries. No shit. Sonia's report card's been updated. After some, what, bringing, bridging the cultural divide between us, I return to my room. There should be time for me to move around more freely. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and finish Sonia. I believe I can. I need to check, though. No, I can't. Fuck. One more. Please. I doubt I'll have one more. I really do. But I can only hope... Oh, damn. She's on the exact same spot. I was going to say. Oh, who's in there? Oh, Chiaki. Damn, I wish I could hang out with her. Or at least, I wish it was, like, more meaningful to hang out with her, at least. <laughs> I'm starting to feel somewhat dizzy, just as I thought this wallpaper paper color is dreadful. What should I do? Should I invite... Yes, yes. Now let's take a little break. I spent time talking with Honya Sonia at the indoor park. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Do I have a fucking present to give her? What would you like to give her? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Time to look it up. Because I have a feeling I will fuck it up if I don't. And I don't want to fuck it up at least this close. 
fuck off. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to fuck it up. I've already fucked her up once. No point in fucking it up again. See your passions. Yeah, let's go with that. They also have a function that lets you shoot your passion like lasers. Warning, the laser will come out of your butt. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, I really have that. Thank you so much, you're truly kind. Now then, what shall we discuss today? I'd like to discuss friendship between men and women. As depicted in Light My Fire Light My Heart with Fire. Sure. Sure. Has something happened? Never seen it. How can you be so calm? We've been involved in this terrible situation for so long now, how, so how can you have such an unchanging attitude? Do you think I'm a cold woman? No, I don't. I think she's trying to distance herself in it, through it, that she knows what's happening, but she doesn't want to be constantly reminded of what's happening. Because if you look at like the, the duty of a princess, that is what she's supposed to do. Huh? It's fine, I understand. Because I see something that everyone else cannot. What is that? Somebody. Destiny. Although I cannot allow killing under any circumstances, the lives of humans are shaped by destiny. Just because we make an effort to prevent danger, it, it does not mean we can defy destiny. Besides, my life belongs to my country and its people. If I were to die, it would be for no other reason than the sake of my country and my people. If I die here, it would be meaningful to my country and my people. So I do not fear death. The moment I was born into the royal family, I was destined to not die a meaningless death. What she's saying is so foreign to me. Damn. The dagger, that's really mature. The, the word to someone who lives in a world that is completely different from my own. Well, I guess that makes sense. You really are a princess. That's amazing. That she can like, di like actually pull that. I, I, that's actually really admirable. Because I, I'd fucking, I don't want to die. But the way that she can actually pull herself away from it and say that no matter what happens, it is for a country, it's, it's really interesting the way she goes about that. It's very, very nice. Hi. Yeah, since the day I was born. Uh -huh. Also, this is not my first brush with death. Though the royal family has governed for many years, coup d'etats and terrorism still occur in our land. I too have been abducted twice by insurgents in the past. Damn. If I showed my fear, it would fill my people with despair. That is why I had to wait in silence until rescue. I actually think this situation is easier since I can honestly feel fear for a change. You're expe expected to cope without feeling fear. I know you're a princess and all, but that's still... When I am in my country, I'm a princess before I am a person. She has a point. That may be true, but... The way it, it that's a very this is actually a really interesting topic at least because it talks about how what comes first like your your title or you yourself and all that and in this case like her title is who what defines as who she is at least how she views herself in this sense which is a shame honestly I I think she's more than just a princess but. Can, there's nothing you can do about it, really. I know. And because of that, I was truly looking forward to this visit. I thought when I came to Japan, I could be a regular girl. But in the end, no matter where I go, I am nothing but a princess. Ah, oh, you're not. You're a girl first. Then a princess. At least in this sense. Right then, I noticed that Sonia's hands were shaking. Of course she's afraid. There's no way she wouldn't be. She's just... She's just good at hiding it. Well, because she's had to. But even so, you're still a regular girl to me. I mean, I'm not a citizen of your country. I'm not even one of your vassals. So when it comes to myself and the others, you're just our classmate. You're just a regular girl. You don't need to try so hard. Hachime. <laughs> Thank you. I still couldn't stop her hands from shaking, but I definitely could feel like we understood each other a bit better. That much is a certain. Give me one more. Give me one more. After talking about some things for a while, I parted ways with Sonia and returned to my room. Damn. Yes. What time is it right now? Fuck. No. So close. Just as I thought I can't get a sense of what time it is when there's no Windows or Monokuma announcements. Still a little early, but I should head back to my room. No, no. I can still. Fuck. Fuck. 
I could have swung one more free time with her. Shit. Damn it. What a shame. So close. Yet so far. If she dies, I'll actually be pissed. Give me one more free time event. Give me one more, please. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Oh, I heard that. Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you to do this at, at all. I can say it. Uh, all I can say is jeez. You should stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service while all my heart. So everyone, please gather in Brave Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? Fuck off, dude. There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By, that, by the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Okay then, goodbye. Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use, my stomach feels so empty, I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Have an apple. I pulled off the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth and a terrible personality, and that's a rude pig. He's a rude pig. He's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't get work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves, and that's a lie. <laughs> he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. Oh my god. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. <laughs> he's extremely re responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. What? Those were the results. Oh, I'm so loved, I don't think I belong to one person for a while. What the fuck? Anakuma, what? I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's obviously me from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm? 6.30, it's a miracle I was able to wake up. As our goal, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go over there for now. Still gonna save. Upset that I couldn't max out someone, yeah. Feels bad, man. All I wanted to do was max her out. Oh, thanks. See if I can need to clean this right yet. Yep. Got you. Oh look. No one's here, so oh, never mind. Fuck me. Fuck me. Spoke too soon. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Ah. Uh, man, I'm tired. Seriously, so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here so early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all got we're all getting screwed here. Huh? But we're getting screwed the most. You obviously were more tired than everyone else. And we, we had to make the con connect elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so obviously we're more tired than you guys. Fuck off. Stop whining. You're fine, you don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. Okay, he's either gonna die or kill someone. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation, I left my charger inside my cottage. Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Got a lot of nerve coming here. 
But now that we have all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? I'm offering the service that you can all feel healthy again. So... From this day forward, I'd like to make you the Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Fucking Tai Chi. Monokuma Tai Chi. Alright, start the music. Stop. 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 Just like that Hajime is dead on the floor. Yeah! <laughs> This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do that? <laughs> Fuck off. <sighs> Make sure I worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise. Thanks to you, now we're hungrier than ever. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> The road to get health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something bad happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. You intended to keep making us do that? Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. So already, how much longer is this gonna last? Didn't he say until the killing starts? It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm going to die in a place like this, I might as well. No. What are you saying? Calm down. Smack the shit out of him. I can't fucking calm down. I smack the shit out of him. Just absolutely unload. Full body turn right to his fucking face. And that's how you say, calm the fuck down, buddy. There's no food. There's no way to escape. This is going... Uh, if this goes on, everyone's going to starve to death. Wait, are you telling us if we uh, just want to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have uh, our friends kill each other. What? Do you mean that you'd rather die? I'd rather die than kill someone. It's what I tell everyone else. Ah, <laughs> fuck, no. I'm fucking killing people before I die. Jesus Christ, I'm too self-centered for that shit. Get the hell out of here. So I tell everyone just so they don't suspect me. Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. Oh, fuck off, dude. Okay. Take your... Just go fucking kill yourself. How about that? That'd be great. If you jump out an elevator shaft, you can die, and then you get to feed us all. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? Fast up. You've been secretly getting food from your f secret future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear you better. Stop! Oh my god. Stop. Stop! No. I still would smack this shit. I swear to god, mate. Say it one more fucking time. Say I'm a traitor one more goddamn time. And I beat the shit out of him. I swear to god. Don't fucking question me like that. Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier. So let's just calm down for now. 
Alright, even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. Wait to die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a di rather difficult situation. <laughs> Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you better hur you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. The conversation ended there. Give me free time, motherfucker. It seems nobody had the energy to keep on talking, so we silently left Grave Tower. I'm just standing here, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm on a rocking boat or whatever, or something. It doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should see how everyone else is doing. Yes! Come here, Sonia. Come here. I swear to God. Yes. Yes. Maxing time. Give me the panties. Sonia, I'm coming in. Hey, how's it doing? It's a nice bed. I'm terribly sorry. I need to think about something. Would it be alright if you left me alone? No! If we managed to get out of here, please invite me again. She put politely to climb. No! 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 She's gonna die. I didn't get to max her out. Nakamaru. Mm. Audrey, don't worry about what country she said. I don't think you're a traitor at all. Yes. I need, I need a bro to take care of me. I'll hold me, Nakamaru. Hold me in your burly hands. <laughs> let's see, let's try looking for a way to escape. Spend time today exploring the funhouse of Nakamaru again. Looks like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer. I don't think I have anything you'd like, buddy. I could give you a coconut. No, I don't think you- <laughs> Give him an apron dress. I'll fucking troll him. Uh. No. I don't. Sure, you don't want to get- Uh, uh, hand it over. Hold on to it. Hey, Nekamaru. There's something I've been wondering about ever since we first met. Hmm. Are you saying you, you've been thinking about me that lot much? <laughs> I see, then I guess I must accept it. Come on, bring it on. Don't misunderstand. Hey, why are you walking toward me? Didn't you just tell me to come to you? <laughs> well, I was about to offer it to do it to you. What's it? I sort of want to know. Wait, I definitely don't want to find out. <laughs> Fine then. So what were you going to talk about? Yeah, I wanted to ask you why you're just a team manager. <laughs> just? Are you mocking the management profession? No, I didn't mean it like that. Management's actually really important. It keeps a team cohesive. Mm. Andre, you don't know anything. All roads lead to managers. They are they are ultimately, at the end of the day, responsible for everything that goes on. All the wins. They're responsible for every single loss. That Managers are extremely important. <laughs> Fuck, I accidentally skipped that. Uh... Uh... How do I... Uh, chat, chat, chat. Give me a backlog. Give me a backlog. Watch me, you don't know anything. If you yearn to master something, you will naturally require a manager's help. Countless records in this world would not exist without managers. That's true. It's very true. The bond between a top-notch athlete and their manager is one that cannot be severed. Bond. Ooh. Till now, it's been a ver with I've been ve various athletes. Yeah, looking back, they're still all splendid athletes. I had a baseball player who got an offer to join the major leagues while he was still in middle school. Oh, is it what's his face? A figure skater who performed six and a half spins. Damn. A tennis player who matched uh, to win a 36 hour long match. Fuck off. 36 hour match? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I mean, I've seen really long matches. Not 36 hour long, but I've seen like four and five hour long matches. They're kind of ridiculous. I've seen, I think four hours is the longest I've seen. Maybe five. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> it's the length of a fucking football game in one tennis match. And it's like, oh, crazy. They're all people who surpri surpassed me. People like that really exist? <laughs> now that you understand, don't mock managers. 
As long as you never do that, I'll lead you to victory no matter the match. He's not much of a sports- I'm not much of a sports guy anyway. But, more important, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, Nekomaru's an amazing guy. Hmm? Did you just praise me in your heart? How do you know? <laughs> when you and I face each other like this, we are one in, one in both mind and body. I can easily see what you're thinking. One in both my body and mind. I don't really want to want that. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm used to being showered with praise. I'm so popular that there are teams all over the place fighting over me. That's crazy in so many ways. But there is no denying that he's an amazing guy. I feel like I can get to know ne ne Nekumaro a little better. Nice, <laughs> yeah, I like him. After listening to Nekumaro talk about his heroic escapades for a while, I went back to my cottage. Can I please hang out with Sonia now? There's still a little time left for me to move around freely, which I do. Can I? I want to max Sonia. I want to fucking max Sonia. I want to fucking max her. Please. She's still in her room. God damn it. Don't tell me. Don't fucking tell me she's gonna die. Don't be fucking pissed. Because like a classic sign of someone is who's gonna die. You can't actually interact with them anymore. Terrible. Oh my god. No. God damn it. P.S. That mirror is completely fucked. But whatever. The reflection in it is. Damn it. Oh, fuck off, Soda. Give me Nakamaru. Hang out with my friend. Sorry, my best friend. Nothing will ever rival our friendship <clears throat> right now. Death engine's closer to us, even if you were waiting. We'd better be off if we took action. Which I do. Yeah, let's hang out with him. I still don't have any presents I can really give to him. <laughs> yeah, see, you agree. Let's try looking for a way to escape. Uh, I spent time today exploring the fun house with Nakamura again. Looks like Nakamura and I grew a little closer. Uh, nah. Fuck. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. I want to die. If this keeps going, this keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? You know, if I stay locked up in this place in your locker, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit, I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where's the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? Yep, Monokuma. The octagon. Huh. Huh. Now then, if you reach it, you can be a fucking badass. You could challenge the final dead one. I'm, I would. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game, it's just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. It's right, that's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god. It, it, you, it actually does go slower now. Holy shit. I actually like that effect that they added. It's fucking cancerous because it's slow as fuck all. It's a really nice effect. And I can't warp. I can't teleport anywhere. That means something's gonna happen. Oh my god. Uh, come here. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't uh, help placing both hands on the wall and bracing myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find that what you're looking for. Chiaki, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Chiaki. Please. I'm so fucking hungry. I'd rather not eat someone. It's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. That's all there is. This is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain that weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? 
What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Blow my fucking brains out. Do you need it? Uh, don't fucking do that to me. Come on. Don't fucking pull that on me. Oh my god. Come on. You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Just because I maxed you out doesn't mean you can have free reign of what you can do to me, okay? Looks like I made the right choice. <laughs> Fuck off. Let's go back, Hajime. I mean... Okay. Sure. Fine. Fuck it. Means hanging out with you, why not? Fuck it. Because uh, Sonya's fucking cock-blocking me. No, the game's cock-blocking me. From finishing her. Jack and I went back to the grave house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. Hey, do you mind if I see, stay in that luxury room with you? That'd be nice. We're on the verge of starva starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Man, you still got days left until you die. Days, weeks left. You can go like 28 days or whatever without eating. If you like had a full meal right before you left. You'll be fine. Start eating your clothes. Is it really okay just to lie there here and take it or? This morning I couldn't help feeling angry that I said that I what I said in front of everyone else what but I I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. Then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Jockey, take care of me while I'm sick. Mekon's not here. To do it for me. What the fuck? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just... confused. As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. No. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. I slept for an entire day. I've been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. Okay, fucking, that's hitting too close to home here. Shut the fuck up, Monokuma. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, and nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. I GTA'd his ass. <laughs> There's so no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still can't, uh, doesn't have enough money, he, so he sponges off his parents back at home. Aw, oh, what a fucking douche. Not to say that live, sponging off your parents is bad, but I mean, uh, you need to live within your means, at least. I mean, I... Fuck off. As that fantasy played out in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad about myself. Well, I mean, you are also just justifying why you don't have everything you have. And saying, like, there's no way he could earn it. Which is probably fake. But, I mean, if that is true, then he's a douchebag. But if he does earn it, fucking congratulations. You earned it. You worked hard. That should be celebrated. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. That's why I said you shouldn't have taken this fucking standard room, bitch. <laughs> or if you really had some balls, you could try to get the deluxe room and just split the room. But of course, he doesn't have the balls to pull it. I mean, you already maxed out Chiaki. If you're going by technicality, you, you could probably swing it. But, I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go Monoku to Monoku Taichi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster up what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. What time? Please be 2 a.m. Oh, sorry, five minutes till seven. 
I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Oh, God. <laughs> Jockey, can you help me to the door? No. Fog. Sony, you seem energetic. Fuck me. I wasn't expecting anything. I was just holding the B button until I could keep running. God damn it, Sonia. Ah, oh, Jimmy, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Sonia. You fucking cock blocked me, so go fuck yourself. That's so funny. My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Leblanc, Leblanc all of a sudden? She's not energetic, she's extremely dangerous. I swear, this is gonna be like just one of those fucking like dreams. Uh -huh. I'm just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Uh -huh. You'd get a stomach ache. Uh -huh. Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. Uh -huh. I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jockey, you too. Are you about to head over to the Grape Tower? Mm. It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Can you help me? No. Uh. No, it's just that Sonya's hungry enough to eat people. Now press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me opened instantly. Instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right, it's always sudden. Ugh. The door to despair always opened suddenly. Well, it wasn't Sonya, at least. No! 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 Not my bro! No! He's my buddy! No! This episode is dedicated to... A lost friend. My, my best friend that I could ever have in this fucking killing game. I didn't realize how great he was until I lost him. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Not just friend, best buddy. Manager. R.I.P. The ultimate robot stream of clockwork. I wish. Man, this fucking... Man, I don't want him to die. Why couldn't it have been Soda that died? He fucking deserved to die more than he did. Nakamaro is innocent. He is an innocent fucking flower. Why? 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 <laughs> Well, time to end it here for a second. <laughs>